Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today we are going to make some really cute fall and Halloween DIYs using these foam dice from Dollar Tree. Um, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I showed these in there and I told you to get you some. Um, you get four for a dollar. These are usually back in the toy section. Sometimes they're hanging up, but I tell you what, at my store the other day, they were on the very top shelf in a box. So, you know, when you go to Dollar Tree, you have to look everywhere because you never know where they're going to stash something. But, yes. So, these right here. Oh, see, you get four for a dollar. Okay. So, I have a few packages of these. Now, if you watch, like, the firecrackers that we made, we're going to pretty much do the exact same thing. So, this, I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint. What color is this? And pumpkin <laughs> which is perfect so right here Walmart this was like two dollars and so we really chalk paint um if you don't have this you can always use apple barrel 50 cent paint from Walmart in the harvest orange but you're gonna need a lot more coats of this than you will the chalk paint because these are some bright primary colors with those black dots so it's gonna take a few coats to coat it to cover it <laughs> Okay, okay, for the first project, you're gonna need three packages of the dice um, because we are going to make pumpkins. <laughs> we are gonna make like the tall pumpkins and you can mix this up however you want, however you wanna do your coloring. Okay, so for the first one, you're gonna want to do three packages of dice. I've got four, three, and then two stacked and you'll have one left over for something else. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Now what we're gonna do is kind of make sure your blocks, cause some of them are kind of wonky. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that they're standing pretty much straight up and not like too much of a lean. Okay, so the first step is really easy. All you're gonna do is hot glue these together. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the bottom of my pumpkin. And I'm gonna stack them. Make sure I get them lined up just right. And I'm just gonna hold that down until that dries. Okay, so I just glued these two together. Now, once again, I'm just gonna glue all of these. Just put some hot glue right on the top. Sit my, my block down. Kinda hold pressure. Get, make sure I get that lined up as best as you can. Okay. And you don't need a lot of glue because it's gonna come pouring up the side. All right, so that one. And I'm gonna put a little up here on the top. And I'm gonna apply this one. All right, see, all right, those are already glued. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to these really quick. I'm also kind of pushing down, that way I don't have like a big gap in between each block. So now all of these are glued together. So next step, this is so easy. Next step, we're just gonna paint them. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take Riley's Avengers mat that I always paint on this. And I am just going to take my Waverly chalk paint and I'm gonna paint these up completely all over. I may do the bottom, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna paint these all up using the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint. Like I said, if you don't have this, or if you cannot find this, you know, they have Harvest Orange and the Apple Barrel Paint. Like I said, you're gonna need a lot more coats of this. Okay, I'm just gonna paint this really quick. Okay, as you can see, that's one coat on that side, and see how the black is still coming through? So, I mean, this does take a few coats of it. So I'm gonna get mine all painted up, and then I will let you know exactly how many coats that you need of this. Okay, geez louise, it took three coats of this, um, this pumpkin Waverly, took three thick coats to cover everything. So, okay, I like for you to like learn from my mistakes. Maybe because this orange, I don't know, maybe it's because it's orange but I didn't like cover very well. So I'm thinking maybe if I would have done like a black or like a white base coat first and then applied my orange, it may have like covered better. 
So that's just a suggestion. Maybe like paint it white first, then your orange or black, then your orange. But I mean, it worked. <laughs> like you said, you don't see the polka dots and it was three thick coats of that orange paint. So, all right, everything is painted except for the very bottoms just because it's gonna be sitting there. So that's okay, but if you wanna paint yours, you can. Okay, options. So my first thought was just to leave these orange, just like this, and we'd add some stems and decorate it. But I'm thinking maybe it needs like a little bit more of something. I think I'm gonna do like stripes and polka dots and maybe like chevron stripes or something. Okay, so for the, for the painting and everything else, I'll go ahead and I'll adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what I'm doing. So, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my Ivory Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna paint white stripes. If you want, you can tape it off. That way you have like perfect clean lines. I'm just gonna go around it. So, I'm just gonna start up here at the top. Kind of skip some spots. And then just try to match it up as I go around. Now, I really, I don't want mine to be like perfect. I want that rustic look and I'm gonna try to like distress it too as we go. So that's the tallest one. Now on my three, the middle one, I'm gonna take one of these um, daubers from like Dollar Tree. Yeah, I think it's like a three pack of different sizes. I'm gonna use this right here. I'm just gonna kind of dip it down into my white paint here. And I'm just gonna do polka dots on this. I'm gonna do some like up in the corner. Like I said, once again, this does not have to be perfect. Look at that. Look how cute. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna kinda keep going with it. Just put a couple little polka dots, just kinda here and there. Okay, once again. <gasps> so simple, so cute. All right, if I can uh, keep my fingers out of it. <laughs> Make it a mess, Jeesh. Okay, <laughs> change of plans because I completely messed up my chevron. So, I couldn't get my chevron right. So I'm thinking, I went ahead and painted this white. I just used that same ivory chalk paint. Um, <laughs> so I got this white. Now I'm gonna try to do orange polka dots on this and see if I like it better. Cause I did not like the chevron. It just did not turn out right for me. Okay, so let's see. Let's just try this orange polka dots. It's not perfect, but here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do I like that any better? Okay, so now what I want to do for my pumpkins, I want to add a stem. So I'm, I have these sticks from our front yard. So um, I think these two are the kind of like the closest in size. All I'm going to do is I'm going to break these and use these as my stem. I'm gonna try to get them all about the same size, so we'll see. So I'm gonna take my stick that I just broke off, and I'm just gonna go right here on the top, like right pretty much into the center, and I'm just gonna push this down into there. Just kinda like twist it, because this is foam. Kinda push that, work that way down in there, just like that. Now that I've made me a hoe, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna stick some hot glue right down into that hole that I just made. And then I will put my stick back down into there and kind of hold that and let that dry. Okay, so there you go. There's my first stem for my pumpkin. All right, same thing. I'm gonna take one of my sticks I'm going to kind of go right in the center on the top of my pumpkin. Just try to get that to go down in there. You can always use like some scissors or something to kind of start it for you. 
This is working. Got that. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey's going nuts because we have deer that's running around the yard. So <laughs> she goes crazy when she sees either deer or squirrel. Alright, so that's that. Once again, I was gonna push that down into that hot glue that is dead. Alright, so there's that one. Last one. Same thing. Alright, so look, we have these right here. Ooh, that's still kind of wet. <laughs> Alright, we have these. I wish I could have got the chevron, but I'm not good at painting chevron. So I have these different little polka dots. Now we're gonna decorate the tops. Okay, I have some raffia, so let's just kind of see what we like here. Take some of this raffia, tie it around the top like in a bow. Do something like that. You can tie your little bow with it. Um, we could also, I've got these Dollar Tree pit berries. Okay, so I went ahead and I just tied um, raffia bows onto all of them. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of this pit berry, like I said, from Dollar Tree. All I'm gonna do is just take this, wrap it around the stick, just kind of go around one time and then I'm gonna cut this off right here I kind of give it a little cut and then you can just take it and just bend it back and forth and it'll snap okay and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger I'm gonna take the um the pit bear because it's wired I'm just gonna twist it around my finger going all the way down to the stick and then pull my finger out and it leaves me with this perfect little Curly Q, can you see that? <laughs> and the exact same thing over here. I'm just gonna take this, twist it all the way around my finger. Like I said, all the way down to the stick. And I'll just pull my finger out and then I can kind of pull that and adjust it. Okay, and then one other thing that you could do, if you wanted, like back here in the back, put you like some hot glue and like hot glue your pit berries down. That way like it stays exactly where you want it. But, okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. Oh, I am so happy with how these turned out. And I tell you what, no one will know that it was these foam dice from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, everything right here is Dollar Tree. It is so cute, I love it. Um, now, another suggestion that you could do, and I thought about doing this, take some brown paint and like do like a dry brush like all over this to give it like that kind of aged, kind of dirty look. <laughs> um, but I do love how this, and I don't know why it did it, but I love it. It kind of like, see that? Like that crackle look. I don't know how that happened, but I really like that too. And it's all over it. So, so cute. Okay, so for our second project. Okay, so now we are gonna take just one of the dice and then I have this little gift box from Dollar Tree. This right here, and this is back with like all the, the birthday stuff, like all the gift bags and tissue paper back there. Um, I think, I don't know if this is like the smallest or this is the medium, because there's a bigger one, but it's kind of got this size right here. You can get any color. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this off because I don't need that. Um, we're gonna make a Frankenstein. <laughs> and I'm excited about that, and hopefully it turns out right. But I want it to be a Frankenstein but I also want it to be like a light. So what we're gonna do is, we are gonna take, um, I have these little LED tea lights, right? Yeah, tea lights from Dollar Tree. If you have some at home, use that. All I could find was black, and actually this is gonna work perfect for what I need it. So I'm gonna take one of these out of here. And I'm gonna take the dice, and I'm going to trace this out, and then we're gonna like, so what I plan on doing, I'm going to um, cut out a little bit of this. That way my candle can kind of sit down into it. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just sit it on top if you like the look. So once again, I'm going to adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what to do. Okay. Okay, so once again, I'm just taking this dice. Da, whatever. <laughs> taking this block. Um, and I'm just going to... Just sit my little candle on here. I'm gonna get it as centered as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just kind of get it on there. 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a neat pin. I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna trace all the way around this little candle with my ink pen. Just go all the way around it. Okay, so you see where I drew that. Now I'm gonna take this little blade that I bought at Dollar Tree. This is from the Crafter Square section. You can use a box cutter, whatever you have, but be careful. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this blade right here. I am just going to cut all the way around the circle first, okay? So right on my line that I drew, I'm just gonna slowly cut all the way around it. And I'm pushing in. Okay, so just slowly take your time, go around it. I'm not pushing the blade completely in, but it's almost there. Ooh, yeah, be careful. Like I said, you do not have to do this part. And if you know it a better way, please let me know. This is the only thing I could think of. Okay, so now that I have that cut all the way around, I'm now gonna do like lines, like stripes. I'm just gonna cut all the way down. And this is just gonna kinda make it a little bit easier for me to get the inside out. Once again, it's going in, going down. Okay, so now I got that. Now I'm just going to, so I got it like that. Now I'm just gonna kind of get to spin it a little bit. And I'm gonna cut this direction. All right, so now that I've got all of that kind of like divided up into little bitty squares, I'm now gonna try to cut this out. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it sideways. I'm gonna kind of get a hold of it. And I'm just now gonna start slowly just sawing, just kind of trying to cut all that inside out. See, just gonna try to pull all that out. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. Okay, so you see how I have it like that. Now I'm just gonna kinda continue to kinda clean this up just a little bit, try to get a little bit even for me. Okay, do you see how like perfect that fits in there? Like I said, you do not have to do this part and you wouldn't believe how many times my husband has walked into a room and been like, are you trying to cut your fingers off? <laughs> so like I said, um, do whatever you're comfortable with. But okay, so now that we have this, I'm gonna take that out of there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and paint this whole thing right here black. And then I'm gonna paint this black and then I'm gonna do a green over top of it. Because I think I learned from my pumpkins that if I do a black first, maybe I won't have to do so many coats. So, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna use Apple Barrel black paint, just basic black. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this whole thing black. Okay, so while that's kind of sitting there drying, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my block also. Once again, like I said, I'm just gonna paint this black. That way, hopefully, I don't have to do so many green coats. Oh yeah, look at that, that's already covered. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my top. And you don't have to paint down inside if you do cut out the blue. You don't have to cut in, or paint inside there. You may want to kind of go around just a little bit though. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna give it a complete coat of green paint now.
Okay, so I got one coat of that green. I'm gonna leave the top black because obviously I'm gonna paint it black for hair. So now I'm gonna um, dry this really quick. And the best way to dry paint really quick is use a blow dryer. So I'm gonna take my blow dryer to this so I can do another coat of paint. Okay, so this now has two coats of that green paint. Okay, all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hot glue this onto the center of my black box. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue. So I'm gonna put some hot glue on the bottom of this block. I don't want to wax, I don't want to come pouring out the sides. Okay, kind of find my center. I'm gonna adjust it for a dress. <laughs> okay, I guess that's center. All right, I'm just gonna push that down and let that dry. Okay, so that is now attached on there and hopefully that is center and straight. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do, um, hair. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, I have this black paint marker. I'm going to use this. You could do a Sharpie. You could do paint. You could do puffy paint. I'm going to do, um, like his hair and face. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his, this right here, and I'm going to do, um, I think like V's, kind of like for his hair. Okay, I'm just kind of doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> do something like that, I guess, like for his bangs. Okay, so I got that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a smaller paintbrush with my same black apple barrel paint, and I'm gonna paint um, his hair. I'm just gonna cover up the complete top of it first. Remember, this is Frankenstein. You know, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. So just continue to paint the top of this just really quick. Okay, so I got the top covered. Now I'm gonna fill in his little bangs with this black. I kinda did that as my outline. <laughs> Y'all, I wish my hand shakes so daggone bad. So, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to do the best that I can. Now, if you wanted, you could go like around the sides too. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna do the back first just in case I mess it up. Just kind of do like a just a little thin line Yeah, okay, so just like that all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like a thin little line just along like the top Just so it kind of looks like he has some hair over on the sides <laughs> And like I said, because my hand shakes I got a little wave to it, but that's okay. It looks like a little cute hair Okay, same thing over here. I'm just gonna <laughs> Go along the top. Okay, so now that his little hair is painted, look how cute. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to attempt a face. You can do any face that you want to do as detailed or as easy. I'm going to try to take this white, um, once again, it's a paint marker. And you can just um, do regular paint too. But okay, let's see if I can do this without messing it up. I think I'm just going to do circles. So like right here. Okay, just do like a little circle here. I'm gonna do another one like right next to it, of course, where it's eyes. Okay, so now I've got the white dried. Now, I think if I make it a little cross-eyed. <laughs> I'm gonna just take, um, once again, this black paint marker. You can use a Sharpie or just regular paint. Uh, and I'm just gonna do like a little dot for his pupil. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a crooked smile and then like his little stitches. So, um, okay, I'm just gonna kinda go, so you can see it. I'm just gonna kinda go up at an angle. Just like that, and I'll just do little stitches. <laughs> a 
Okay, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna use my Sharpie because it's finer and I'm gonna do like a little scar over here. Just kind of a little curved scar. And once again, I'm just gonna do little crisscrosses like that. And then like one up here, that's a little, little side of its head. Okay, so now we are gonna take some screws, just any screws that you can find around the house, um, and we're gonna use these for the little bolts in its neck. So, I guess I'm gonna go like right here on the side, kinda just right in the center, like that, and I'm gonna twist this in. And you know, it's foam, it's that foam block, so it's gonna go in pretty easy. And this is kind of a long screw. You probably don't need one this long, but it's what I found in the garage. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a screwdriver that I have, and I'm just going to twist this in. Turn that so you can see it. I'm gonna try to do my left hand. I'm not very coordinated with my left, but I want you to be able to see everything that I'm doing. So, all right, I said, I'm just gonna keep screwing this into its little neck. It's perfect. Okay, um, where's my other one? Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Okay, and once again, if you want, you can measure for your placement. If not, just kind of eyeball it. Cause like I said, it's Frankenstein. You know, he's not supposed to be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna push that in there and I'm gonna use the screwdriver. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, and we are not done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, did you find these at Dollar Tree? Love these. So I'm gonna take one of these right here and we're gonna Mod Podge something on the front of his belly. Uh, let's see. Okay, so some of the options are to use this one right here, that trick or treat on there, which I think that's really cute, but for some reason, the greens are kind of throwing me. <laughs> Because his face is like so much brighter, but that's an option. That's really cute. Um, they have the October 31st. You could do that. I'm kind of thinking I cut out this jack-o'-lantern to maybe put that on here. Put that there. And then I cut out the little banner. And it was easiest for me just to cut out because it was too hard and everything kept falling apart. So I think I'm going to try this for mine. Okay. So all I'm going to do is... I'm just gonna put Mod Podge all over the front of this. Okay, just a little Mod Podge. Brush that on there. And Mod Podge, you know, it always dries clear. Okay, so I'm gonna stick my Jack Lantern on here first. Okay. Kinda put that right there. I'm going to kind of play with it before I start rubbing everything out. And I'm going to just take my little banner and kind of work with this. Get that on there. Okay, so I have that on there. I'm going to rub it in really good. And then as always, I'm just going to put a top layer of the Mod Podge. <laughs> and just go over everything. Just go over your, you know, your edges really well. Okay, look at our cute little Frankenstein. Now, I'm gonna take that little tea light, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and I'm gonna sit it down in that hole that we made. Okay. And look at that! <gasps> look how cute! Now you have like a little candle. So, I love it! That is so cute! Okay, another option that you could do for this is to take some of the little fairy lights from Dollar Tree this is supposed to be purple. Gosh, it's bright. Purple, but it's kind of like a bluish color. But you could also like wrap this around it. You know, especially if you didn't want to do the little candle up top. Just kind of you know, wrap that around it somehow. Yeah. But just kind of like wrapping. That is so bright. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, look at that. 
So just kind of like wrapping some lights or something around it would just make it really like cute and kind of like spooky looking. <laughs> so I love that. I gotta turn that off though. Okay, so, but once again, you know, the little gift box from Dollar Tree and then just one little foam block thing. So, so cute. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do two more just really quick for you. Same thing, I'm just gonna hot glue um, two blocks together. Make sure you just line it up right. Okay, these will be really quick. This one already went ahead. I cut out another hole, because I'm gonna do another little light in here, but you don't have to do that. I went ahead and cut this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue these together really quick. Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna take this one right here that has um, where I cut out for like a little candle. I'm gonna paint this completely white. And once again, I'm gonna use that ivory chalk paint. You can use regular white paint. So I'm gonna paint this one completely white. And then this one right here, I'm gonna use that same black apple barrel paint. And I'm gonna paint this whole thing black. And I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so what I did is, I did only one coat of the white paint. This is one coat of that um, chalk paint. So it covered really well. So I did that one right there. And then this is just one coat of that black apple barrel paint. Um, and it really, really covered just one coat. And I don't need it perfect because I'm going to cover it with something else. So, okay. And then I also, I had one other little block. I went ahead and painted this one orange. And this one, I did the apple barrel harvest orange. And it took several coats. I even did black first. And it took like five coats of this orange just to cover. So I think we're gonna make like a little jack-o-lantern out of this one. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust you. Okay, so for the black one, we're gonna make a mummy. <laughs> so I've got some white gauze from Dollar Tree. This is just like, you know, back where they keep the band-aids and everything, just a basic gauze. And we're gonna do, I think like a little dab of like hot glue on the back, and I'm just gonna wrap this around it as a mummy. Okay, so let's try that. I'm just gonna do like a little dab of hot glue, just kind of up here in the corner. Not a lot, cause I don't wanna burn my finger. So I'm gonna lay that down right there. And then I'm just gonna start the gauze, like right here. I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna push that gauze into that hot glue for a minute. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is just start, start like wrapping this around as if it's like a mummy. And it does not have to be perfect. Just kind of keep just twisting it around. <laughs> okay, and then just kind of adjust it. Um, now, if you could, I did a black, that way if you want to like see some of the black coming through. So I'm gonna do it like that right there. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn it back to the back where we, where we were. Okay, so back here, once again, I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue on the back side, and then I'm gonna wrap that into there. Okay. My scissors once again, so I don't burn my finger. Hold that down till that dries. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off the excess. <laughs> okay, now we have that. Some googly eyes from Dollar Tree. So there's several different sizes. There's this size, and then like a little bit smaller, so we're gonna see which one looks better. Okay, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go right in here, and just stick it there. <laughs> if you want, you can do like a little dab of hot glue, or glue dots on the back. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Look how cute that is. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a little, just a little dab, just a little dab of hot glue on the back of each one. Okay, and then once again, I'm just gonna stick it like right there. And I'll just hold that eye into that dress. All right, and then I'm gonna hot glue this one. So like right there, I'm just gonna hot glue that eye right there. 
and then you can just kind of like adjust and play with your gauze. <laughs> but look how cute that is. Once again, it's just two dice hot glued together. All right, easy. That one's done. This one right here is gonna be a ghost. So um, I think I may have more control with this. Okay, so of course I'm just gonna do like two circles for the eyes. So I'm just gonna do two round circles. Very basic, very easy. Okay, and then like the little mouth, you can do like a big smiley face. See, you can just do like a cute little smelly face. Or you could do like just like the open mouth, like just a big circle. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna take another tea light, pull out that little tab. And then you have another really cute little candle. <laughs> Love it. All right, so there's that one. Now the little jack-o'-lantern. So for this one, you could also take a tea light, get it in there, and then we can do like a little scale, um, like a, a little face. So let's take this again. Okay. And I'm just gonna do triangles for its eyes. Just very kind of basic. Then I'm gonna do like just a little face, a little smile. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna color that in. Oh my gosh, my hands shake so bad. <laughs> just something like that and then <laughs> Not the best but it's still cute <laughs> okay so that is it oh my gosh y'all these turned out so cute I am so happy that we did this and to be honest with you I almost didn't do this video I doubted myself so much yesterday about doing this if it was gonna be good enough or cute <laughs> cute enough but I love it and I'm so happy that we just did this um, and to think that it started from a pack of these foam dice from Dollar Tree. They're so cute. And I tell you what, you cannot even tell. You would never imagine that that's what these pumpkins are made from. But, okay, so that is it. Um, if you've liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, and let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite? And like always, if you recreate these, I would love to see them. You can always send me pictures through Instagram um, I will link it right here for you, but yeah, I love them. And like I said, you do not have to cut and dig out the hole for the candles. You can just sit it right on top, but okay. So there are several, I, and I seriously, I could do a video every daggone day, but I tell you what, self-doubt, it just, it gets me. <laughs> and I wait too long and then the bigger channels end up doing it. So, but um, yeah, so, <laughs> okay, enough of me rambling. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.